Another brainchild of Gibson owners Steve Lombardo and Hugo Raleigh is the Lux Bar. The buzz-generating tavern has swung open its doors, offering amazing cocktails and a superb menu. Well, the new Lux Bar is open. I'm here with my friend Mike Clark, who, if you know Gibson's or Hugo's, has been a big old piece of timber in their house of logs. Uh, and congratulations on Thank this you. opening. Thank you, David. Tell me about this restaurant. Well, this is actually a bar, David. All right, This all is right. a bar. It's a uh, uh, kick-ass bar with a, with a great uh, kitchen. We do uh, everything you want, just about any kind of food that you uh, could imagine. And just and about so, all day long, right? All day long. And we will be opening uh, for breakfast and lunch. Right now, we're open from 3 p.m. until 2 a.m. And we've got a, a large menu with a lot of different uh, kinds of food. Great menu. It's, you've got all kinds of stuff. Um, but you say you're a bar. So what kind of drinks do you have? Or tell me what we've got over there. Well, we've got uh, handmade cocktails uh, crafted uh, by our expert bartenders. They're all made with house uh, fresh squeezed juices and simple syrups that we've uh, infused here at the uh, Lux Bar. Over there, I've got a mojito, which is your uh, classic uh, Cuban mint julep. It's Cuban rum with, uh, with mint and uh, mint simple syrup. And we've got the Pim's Cup, which is uh, Pim's Gin. And then we've got the uh, Lux Bar Fruit Sling. And then we've got the, uh, a wonderful classic martini, the Food Dude Beef Eater Martini. There you go, right there, with blue cheese out. All right, well that being said, and I appreciate the naming, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about some of the appetizers and sales we've got here. Well, the, the restaurant is, uh, since it's a bar, we want to have a lot of uh, small plates. We've got uh, this uh, wonderful uh, rendition of the Gold Coast Slider. One of them was uh, pulled pork that we smoke here in the Lux Bar. One of them's a uh, small uh, hamburger. And then we've got an oyster slider with uh, New Orleans debris. And then we've got a uh, fine uh, tenderloin medallion slider. Now, now is, this, is this what I get at my charity events? Yeah, uh, that's what we bring to your charity events. If you ever, if you've been to the Green Tie Ball or um, uh, any of the, the big charity events that I've done or host that, that Gibson's goes to, this is what they make. And don't fool yourself. This is the real deal. Mm. Great. It's good. Mm. Little Mater D butter seasons it up. Homemade bun. Can you tell me about this again? This is a fried oyster slider. It's breaded uh, here, and uh, we deep fry it in, in uh, uh, corn canola, and then we uh, dress it with New Orleans debris or coleslaw. That is delicious. Great late night kind of thing. Right. Um, so we're moving on. I'm sorry. We we're going to do the salad, but you went to this. Talk about that chicken, because this is great chicken. Right, this is buttermilk fried chicken. Uh, years ago, used to have some customers come into Gibson's and uh, order fried chicken, but fried chicken takes uh, quite a while. So we had them call in the day before and I'd set it up for them, get it ready for uh, their reservation. So when we decided, uh, Hugo and Steve and I decided to put the fried chicken on the menu at the Lux Bar, we got a system down there where we can produce it just in time for the, or, uh, for the, as the orders come in. This is a 10-ounce uh, Kobe burger. We also have a 8-ounce uh, burger, and uh, we have an 8-ounce acorn burger in honor of the old uh, piano bar on Oak Street. And uh, these are all fresh ground here in the Lux Bar every morning. All the beef is uh, natural beef. That's yeah, beef. talk about it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you, I, mean, I interrupted you, but we go ahead. Your beef is natural beef. Uh, Chicken's and, natural chicken. And talk about your, let's just go right to that fish dish. But you know what? We're going to run downstairs. I'm going to ask Mike to cook this for me, the, the, uh, this fish dish, which is right over there. And then we're going to take a look at something that's new in a kitchen I've never seen before. And he'll tell you about his fish. So we'll be right back. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've got, uh, I've got just about every machine that you can imagine. A lot of them for extracting juices, for baking bread, and for making pizza. And uh, I've also got, uh, this is a, uh, uh, a pulper. And this system grinds all our garbage and reduces our waste stream 10 to 1. It turns all the dining room garbage into a fine uh, mulch that can be reconstituted uh, into the landfill faster than uh, other bag garbage. So, so it's a little earth friendly. Yeah, not only is it 
good food, but they're earth friendly. So with that being said, I'll, I'll kill it and I'll say, uh, I'll meet you upstairs. You go make me some food. All right, we'll be up there in a minute. All right, brother. All right. All right, gonna do a little Alaskan uh, sockeye salmon. Got some special herbs and spices blended with our roasting salt. Gonna boil the salmon in our 800 degree broiler. Get a nice finish on this here in the deck oven. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna dust it with the, uh, base it with the cranberry. Season it with some cracked black pepper. Get a nice glaze in the broiler. Alaskan wild sockeye salmon. Well, we're back, and I've never shown really a, a dishwashing system in the kitchen. But you know, to be a successful restaurant, you've really got to be a cut above. And and I think it's neat that you know I, I am on the green tie ball. You've come there for years. You know, we clean and green the city. I think it's pretty neat. I need one more bite of your oyster. But this really great. Um, tell me about that fish now. Well, I know the woman in Alaska that uh, caught that fish, her name is Nina Burkholder, and she fishes in Olga Bay, which is on the south end of uh, Kodiak Island. And uh, uh, she, uh, I get this fish from her, it's identity preserved fish. I know how she handles it. I know how she takes care of it. It's a very high quality product, specially handled. And uh, we'll be featuring, uh, featuring that sockeye year round. This is a crab meat quesadilla. We uh, have uh, uh, blue crab claw meat and a classic quesadilla presentation. But we put a little spinach on there so it'd be kind of guilt free. So you're having fun here at this big old bar. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got a second floor up here, you got... Uh, We've got a second floor that we hope to uh, uh, let out for private events. And uh, it's got a great uh, south exposure uh, ceiling to floor window and uh, catches, catches a lot of natural light. The building is, uh, is uh, kind of a prairie uh, architect design based on a man named Alfred Luce uh, out of Vienna in the, uh, at the turn of the 19th and 20th century. Tell me about the, uh, the salad over here. I haven't tried this yet. This is a Lux Bar chopped salad. We have uh, organic greens, and uh, uh, there's uh, garbanzo beans and uh, kidney beans, cheese, ham, bacon, chicken. And uh, then that's the old hippie multigrain that you're eating cut into a crouton. Mike, why don't you give them your uh, phone number, your address, let them know when you're open. Go ahead, just let that rock and roll. Just tell them when you're open and right there. This is the Lux Bar, 18 East Bellevue in Chicago, just uh, one door off of Rush Street, kitty corner across the street from Gibson's. It's, uh, uh, the phone number here is 312-642-3400. We're open from 3 p.m till 2 a.m. right now, but when we get things uh, up and rolling, we'll be open for lunch and for breakfast. There you go. Hey, I got a hot fudge sundae, or you got a hot fudge sundae? I, I got, a, I got a, a turtle sundae. What is that exactly now? It's caramel, it's chocolate, and uh, toasted pecans, vanilla ice cream. Go get them, baby. Mm. Live large. Live large. <laughs> 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 